Hey, what's going on YouTube? Nitro Rednecks back. Holidays are done. Time to start uh, working on some more crap, I guess. Uh, today I have uh, this 2008, I think it is, M1000. So what I'm gonna do here, <clears throat> you wanna pull this nut, or this bolt, sorry. Grab this bolt. Take these washers off. Take the washers off. Pull this. And what you want to do with this, just flip it upside down. Completely backwards. Put your bolt like this. Thread your bolt in. And what this is going to do is going to open up your clutch. And it's going to open up your clutch and you're going to be able to get the bolt off. So tighten this up. See? There you go. I'm going to try to do all this with one hand. There we go. Got the belt off. Loosen this. There you go. Don't forget to put your washers back on. Your washers on. Back in and save that. Pull your body clutch off, secondary clutch, whatever you want to call it. Now, what you want to do, uh, it'd be an easy job if he just wanted me to change the oil, but he wants me to check the bearings. So, if you want to change your oil, you pull the plug here, drain the oil. That's your filler. So, take this all apart and check all the bearings. They're all torque screws. So I'll pull all those out and uh, I'll show you the next step. All right guys, so here's the cover. Um, yeah, so you pull out all these uh, these torque screws. The only one that's a cunt is, uh, there was one of these, either this one or this one. Anyway, it was a real bitch. So, once you get it all pulled off, what you want to do, you just grab a flat screwdriver and uh, a hammer and just work it in, but work it in slowly. Work it in here, work it in over here, and try to work it all out because that's, it's, it's wedged on there pretty good. Just work it back and forth, pull it off. And uh, I didn't show you, as, uh, this is what I found. Focus, good enough, there you go. So that's the drain plug out of the diamond drive. As you can see, it doesn't look very promising. And I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, yeah. So that goldish color you're seeing right here, that's all brass. It looks like brass flakes. So something is fucked in there. So, basically what I'm doing, you got to remove your reverse rod, and all that crap, and pull all these out, and I'm going to do a thorough inspection of everything, and uh, yeah, so he's going to, guaranteed he's going to have to get some new bearings, and whatever, getting this far into it, you might as well replace them all, right? All right, guys, this is where I'm at. Um, here's some more of the brass. Absolutely crazy how much is in there. So, um, I know I wanted to make this as detailed as I possibly could, but uh, I got a little off track. And uh, So, anyway, this here has reverse. So, you got your reverse motor here. Uh, what there is, there's a plastic uh, cover. You take the plastic cover off with these two torques here, two torques here, and then there's three torques that hold. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like it's right here. This is your, it's basically what it is, a motor for like a, a window, electric uh, window on a car. So, um, that's all off. Uh, 
and then you'll have I'll show you the rod you'll have this rod that's your reverse rod that throws this here uh, into reverse click click clicks in and out um, to remove this piece right here uh, this piece here is a piece of cake. You just uh, you just pull this out. It just sits inside of here. Once you get this rod out, um, this pulls right out. This piece here, what you have to do, get a long extension right here, and this is your brake side. Um, there's a bolt way down deep inside that hole, and this bolt. Is I'm not sure if you're gonna see it's a 5 8 socket anyway. 5 8 socket, long extension. Pull that bolt. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit of uh, effort to get that out. What I did, I used the bar right here and uh, just pulled up on the bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, and worked it out that way. Pulled the complete thing out. All right, guys. I want to give you a breakdown on this uh, this whole diamond drive. Um, like I said previously, uh, you have your 5 8 bolt on your uh, brake side. You have to take a long extension, put your uh, extension in, take the 5 8 bolt out. Now the breakdown on this is uh, pretty simple. As you can see, I have this one here uh, plus this one. Um, this case was all good, uh, but my gear pack, bearings, all that uh, brass, there's a whole bunch of brass in the bottom. It, uh, this, this, this whole thing was fucked. So, I had this one, it was all complete, it was all together. And, uh, so I just took it apart, checked all the bearings and everything, and uh, put it back together. And once I had it all in and installed, this upper bolt hole is stripped. So I had to remove the whole thing and I said I might as well just use this whole case. Because with this case somebody had uh, a bolt stuck in here and another bolt here instead of the original torque screws because obviously the holes must have been stripped and uh, uh, where's the bolts here's one bolt and these bolts here one bolt and another bolt so what I'm doing now I'm gonna swap all the gears and everything into this case because this case the cover and everything all the bolt holes are all all the threads are all good everything's good um, so the full breakdown on this I uh, just pulled the cover off, that's it. Um, so your next step is you want to remove your reverse rod. Now of course with uh, one with uh, no reverse, it's going to be different. So what you want to do, you want to remove your reverse rod. You have these little uh, bushings or whatever, and hold them in place inside here. Um, for this, you just want to pull this whole gear pack out, it just pulls out, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, you have your reverse lever, and uh, for this here, same thing, this just pushes out, lever just pulls out, and like I said, I think, as you can see, as you can see, the brass is just, it's just full. It's horrible. And the brass inside the cover. He brought this here and he just caught this in time. Like this was ready to explode. Absolutely explode. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean all this out, clean the cover everything and uh, basically the reassemble is exactly the same all right here it is 
getting ready to reinstall. Everything's I washed everything. Uh, took the wire wheel, cleaned all the yarder surface. So when I put the silicone, everything's nice and sealed. Um, for this piece here, as you can see, it's notched certain ways. So on the top you have one, two, three, four, five. Here you have one, two, three, four, five. And then you have your two, two, and two. So only fits one way. That's uh, so that your reverse rod and everything sits in place correctly. Next step, take your clutch pack. Make sure it's all clean. And sit this in. Make sure she's all sitting down properly, just like that. It all works. Fine. Now, for your reverse rod. This might be a little tricky with one hand. Uh, give it a try. Basically, uh, I'm probably not going to be able to do it with one hand, but uh, what I do, I sit this in, I sit the bottom in first, then I do the top. Alright, so there you have it. I got the silicone all the way around. I got my uh, re reverse lever in place. Ready to, uh, ready to install the outer cover. Make sure your uh, O-rings are all in place. There we go. Don't force the cover down. If the cover does not want to go down just by uh, your hands, then something's out of line. Maybe it's uh, the bearing on the this outer bearing. Could be not sitting in uh, the cover, this cover right here properly or something. So uh, just uh, take it easy with it. Make sure everything sits down good. And uh, put all your bolts. Uh, what I usually do is uh, I'll pick, you know, one bolt here, tighten it up. And I'll keep crisscrossing back and forth, tighten all the bolts. So for all these, uh, I have extra ones here, these, I believe they're T30s, yeah, T30, uh, torque screws, um, from what I read, these are supposed to be torqued at uh, 12 foot pounds, but uh, also, people say that these are um, self-tapping, I don't know. They don't really look like they're a self tap or self tapper to me, but whatever. Um, 12 foot pounds. I don't normally like to retorque these to 12 foot pounds just for the fact that it's aluminum. And once they're already, are already torqued once, twice, who knows how many times these have been torqued or whatever, uh, I just like to uh, snug them up. Where I feel comfortable, what I'll do, I'll drive each one of them down, like I said, in a crisscross pattern, back and forth, get all the covers sitting down nice and flush. Then I'll take, <coughs> that's, well, I use <coughs> the ratchet just, just to snug them up. And uh, then I'll use the manual ratchet. Then I'll go by feel and do each bolt separately. And like I said, I don't. The reason why I don't like to do that is because it's aluminum, and uh, you know, you screw up these, uh, you screw up the threads, you pull the threads out of these holes, and then you're, you know, you're finding a different bolt, you're retapping, blah blah blah, whatever. Then you're gonna end up basically. What happened to this case? It's it's all fucked up from previous people taking it apart. 